While Donald Trump crisscrosses America with stadium-sized rallies, Hillary Clinton does about one public event a week these days. So she's not overworked or underslept, just the odd private fundraiser with billionaires. So a well-rested Hillary Clinton finally had her first public event in days on Labor Day, and it turned into a violent coughing fit. And I want to thank Congresswoman Marsha Fudge for hosting us. <coughs> <coughs> it went on. <coughs> I've been talking so. <coughs> Every time I think about Trump, I get allergic. It just kept going. A solid two minutes of coughing. I won't show it all. She drank some water, but it didn't help. Boy, we have 63 days to go. <coughs> Is that just a normal cough? I mean, anyone can cough. But Hillary Clinton's had serious health problems. A few years ago, she fell and had a concussion. She got a blood clot. She hit her head so badly, she was seeing double. So she had to wear special Fresnel glasses with the weird prism in them. She literally could not see straight without them. She's tired all the time. Her staff writes her emails in the middle of the day, telling her to take her nap. Here's another email from her closest aide, Huma Abedin, saying if she doesn't get her nap, she gets confused. Really? Is her health okay? Well, her staff said, sure, no problem. You see, it was just allergies, you know, pollen. Yeah, right. But on that same day, on the airplane, she started to talk to reporters, and less than a minute in, that cough again. Sorry, there's no pollen on airplanes. That's micro-filtered air. There's no pollen up there. Take a look. And <coughs> he has, you know, made it clear that um, he doesn't particularly care whether Putin and the intelligence services attack American institutions. So, <coughs> get some water. <coughs> Thank you. <coughs> Thanks. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I'll be right. <coughs> what's with all the coughing? And and what's with that water? She had a water bottle in her hand already. And yet she asked for and was given another water by staff. What's, what are the two waters all about? Well, in her 89-second press availability on the plane before the coughing cut it off, journalists had a chance to put some questions to her. Here's what they asked. Welcome to our big plane. It's so exciting. What do you think? I think it's pretty cool, don't you? How was your Labor Day weekend? It was good. It was really good. Yeah, last moment before the mad dash, the next two months. So I hope you guys are ready. And uh, are you ready? I'm ready. So those are your questions. How was your Labor Day? That, that, that's what you got. 275 days without a press conference, email scandal, health scandal, Clinton Foundation scandal, smashing Blackberry scandal. And, and that's all you have to ask the woman who would be president. Here's a more telling photo from that airplane press scrum. Look at those reporters. They're, they're fans. They're not reporters. Tell you what, if you can find someone in your life who looks at you with that sort of love, never let them go. Hang on to them forever. That's a rare kind of love right there. Well, the coughing thing was so bad, even the mainstream media had to cover it, like NBC. So her fan club, I mean, the press gallery, they were ready the next time they saw her, and they asked her this. <laughs> Did you see that? The question contained the answer. The question rebutted itself. No need for Clinton to answer about her health. The journalist will do it for her. How dare anyone ask her about her health? Hillary Clinton is sick. She had a concussion. She saw a double. She needs naps. She coughs all the time. Something's wrong. And it's not sexist to ask about it. It's called journalism. 
For the Rebel Media, I'm Ezra Levant. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.